Hello, Velarco here, and today I will be doing a tutorial on the mirror effect. However, since that is relatively simple, um, I decided why not spice things up. So here we, I have um, a more complex mirror node. Um, if you can see here, this is what we are going to be making today. It might look complex right now, but it's actually relatively simple, and it has more features than a regular, um, than a regular mirror effect. Right, so I'll just plug in the mask. And the first thing, right, so it has standard, you know, you can flip the one side of the mac mask on the X and Y. You can also rotate the bottom. You can um, move it. And then you can also, and then this is one of the newer features, but you can blur the boundary. And you can also make a border and change its color. Right? So this is what we will be making today. Um, if you want to make the next frame, like here I have my sample frame, Borco, just post an Imgur link into the comments and tell me, like, next frame. And the, if you do not want to follow the tutorial but you still want this node, it, um, this very blend file will be in the description below. But I'm just going to move this away and move that away. And um, throughout the tutorial, I'm going to be um, making these, like, little nodes that I can move around. To do that, you just hold shift and drag. It is very useful for for organizing, and if you hold control and drag, you can cut off nodes, right? So there's my mirror node, and there's my box mask, right? So I'm just going to add a um, color mix, and I'm going to hit control G, and this is going to be our node group. So I'm just going to move the output to the side here, and then we will start off by adding all of the inputs, which are going to be neat, right? So we have ourselves image. I'm going to move factor down, I'm going to rename it to mask, and that would be where we plug in our mask. Then I will go ahead and duplicate this um, once for the mix, once for the x, y, um, one for the rotation, one for the flipping, I mean two for the flipping, and then lastly for the border power, right? So I'm going to go back and rename these, so I'm going to call this, um, I'm sorry, no, the first thing, the first gray one needs to be mask, then it's going to be blur. Then it's going to be mix, and then x, and then y, and then rotation, and then x flip and y flip, and then just one more, sorry, um, for border power. And then our very last input is going to be border color. So I'm just going to add the mix node back and plug an image into there so that way it is green and call this border color. So then I'm just going to go to um, the mix and set this to be a value from 0 to 1. Then, um, And then I also need to set the rotation to be from 0 to say 360. The x and y flip should be from 0 to 1. And then border power just has to have a minimum of 0. The maximum does not matter. Alright, so now that's all of our inputs done. And now we can get going with the actual node setup. So we're going to start off by adding the ability, for, um, by adding the distortions to the um, bottom half of it, or the part that's going to be edited. So basically we're going to add the ability to flip, move, and rotate. So I'm going to start off by adding a distort, flip, and then putting a color mix next to it. It's going to drag this down. I'm going to plug the flip into the bottom color, then I will duplicate it, move it along the X, then I will change this to be flip Y. And then I will plug this mix into the flip Y image and then also into the mix image. And I will, you know, just like shift, drag, make a node and move it over. And then for right here, we want to plug in the image into there. So I can go shift, drag it over and then I'll go shift right there. So now here we have ourselves nice, fancy, Danly, or fancy, smanchy organization. Right, and then we just need to plug in the X flip into here and Y flip into there so now we need to add the um, translation or like positioning along the X and Y so just go translate set this as the image and then plug the X into the X and the Y into the Y I'm gonna go shift drag and move this over to here 
And then lastly, we need to add rotation here. So I'm going to go rotate. I'm also going to move this up a bit because um, we're going to have more nodes that are going to be higher up here. So it's just going to be better. All right. And I'm going to make this level with the, ro with the rotation input. All right. And I'll um, set the image to be the end of this. Translate. And just like that, we have our distortions done. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the um the blurring to the mask. All right. So what I want to do is I, wanna, I just add a mix node here, plug this image here into the bottom of it, right? And then go filter blur. Set the hue this here to be one. Set this to be fast Gaussian. And then also add a inverter math, set it to multiply, then plug in the mask into one of the values and the mix into the other. It does not matter in this case which one is which. And then the um, the end result should be image. So I need to move this over. And then the size will be the um, blur. Whoops, I meant to shift click. Right. And then just like that, we can plug this into the factor. All right. Actually, I'm going to move this over so it's here. And so now we just need to add the border. So that's going to be done just above the blurring, right? So we just add another blur. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to take the input from there as the image. Right, I'm going to also shift drag this up because we're going to need this like just um, next to it. The size is going to be border power, right? I will actually, I'm going to just put this here at this point since the bottom is a bit messy. And then I will add a matte difference key, plug in the blur as the image one and the image two as the mask. All right, so let me just do that. And then I have, then I want to add a converter color ramp put the mat into factor. I'm also going to play with these settings right here. I'm going to move this down a bit, say like to there. And then I'll add a converter set alpha, plug the image into the alpha, set the image for the set alpha to be a pure white, and then go color, mix, color, mix, multiply. Put the set alpha here into, um, I believe, one second. Then put the set alpha here into the top and plug the border color into the bottom. Once again, using the same shift, drag, and then grab to organize. All right. And then we can just plug this multiply to go into a color alpha over at the very end with um, the mix into the top, the multiply into the bottom, make sure you convert primal. And then last thing we need to do, we just need to plug the original image into the top of the mix. And just like that, you should have yourself um, a fully working mirror node like the one in the beginning. And we can actually go test that out right now. So I will plug the mask into the mask, the um, image into image, I'll um, make sure backdrop is enabled. Oh, I also connect um, alpha over into the group output, right? And so right now nothing is happening, right? So right now nothing is happening. However, we need to set mix to one. And then we can like type in values to move the bottom here. We can also flip it along the X and Y. We can also add a border. That's um, a lot of power. Um, what I'm going to do just because the um some of these settings are going much too high because I'm going to set the um, maximum. I'm actually going to set a maximum. So in this case, I'll set one of a hundred and same thing for the X and Y since um, I'll start at say like negative um, 500 to positive 500. I think that's just going to make it a lot. I mean, well, no, this is just going to that this is going to make it a lot easier to control. And so from here, you know, border power. Now it's a lot better to control. You know, we can change the color of it. We can also blur. Once again, the blur is another thing which we should probably, which is, 
would be which would be a good idea to go back and change so say from value of 0 to like 50 and so now when you go to blur it's a lot better right and if I turned off the border we can see it's blurring fine and yeah so that is the node completed um hopefully you learned something yeah hopefully this was helpful if you want the download um for if you want the download it will be in the description you'll be presented with a blend file that has this node right here and yeah i will be off making more tutorials if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and then there's also going to be a straw poll link in the comment section for a um for my next next tutorial